what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy ralphie sergeant ralphie and today i want to do something a little a little bit different i know i said i was i was going in order you know you, you want to join the military and then go into maps and then or go into the recruiter and then go into maps and all that stuff but um this certain things that i just gotta put out you know what i mean so there's a new program uh well, it came out in 2019, sometime in 2019, called the Vet Tech Program. And I just learned about it from actually a podcast that I listen to, that is that I recommend everyone to listen to. Um, and that podcast is Military Transition Minute, and it's an Apple Play. I mean, um, <laughs> it's in Google Play and Apple Podcast. Sorry. So, and he, he, rec uh, he, he was talking about it, he recommended it, and I went and checked it out, and I signed up for it. Now, Vet Tech is another one of the VA's many benefits that they give the veterans when they get out. Now, this is for veterans that are already out of the, of the service. You're not on active duty anymore, and I, I don't think it's for the guard. I didn't see anything where it's for the guard. You're not on guard or in the reserves because those are all different benefits. You, you get most of your benefits from active duty from the actual army or the marines or navy or whatever so there's a lot of programs out there for veterans and this is one of them that i think we should know about and this was called vet tech now i'm on va.gov at this point i'm assuming that the veterans already have a va.gov account or and e-benefits you should have that before you even get out of the service and if you don't you need to get one um but because that's how you apply for all your all your benefits so the vet tech program let's read what it is it's veterans technology education courses and if uh, it says if you want to gain computer experience to start or advance your career in the high technology industry find out if you're eligible for our new veterans employment through technology education courses or vet tech a program that matches you with a leading training provider to help you develop high tech skills so they it's basically another type of benefit that just to put you but it's primarily focused on tech jobs so uh you always want to read these little boxes also when you go into that va.gov uh, website vet tech funding suspended until october 2020 it is a new program. Whenever there's a new program, you're going to have hundreds, probably thousands of people that enroll. You're going to have hundreds of people. I don't know what their slots are. The VA and the, the military, the government's all about slots. So if they have 100 slots, they get 100 people right away. That's it. They're booked. They, you you got to wait till those people finish to, so they can start putting in the new people for the next uh, fiscal year. And this is what it says here. They're um, they stopped enrollment until October 1st. That does not mean that you cannot enroll right now and you need to be proactive. And I said that in my last video, you have to be proactive. You got to be motivated and you got to put in work to get something out of it. You're not going to get nothing just sitting there wishing that you had it. All right. So am I eligible for this program? Always read that box when you're in VA.gov and I'll do another video on VA.gov on that whole website and everything. So, am I eligible for this program? You may be eligible for vet tech if you meet the requirements below. Anytime you apply for a uh, some kind of benefit, read the, that little blue box. If it says, am I eligible? You want to read that because you don't want to apply for something that you're just going to waste your time. You think you got it. You, you, you know, you start getting these, all these rejection letters from the VA. It's kind of, it's kind of a bummer. You don't want to do that, but you know, and also you don't want to waste your time there and all that stuff. You got to make sure that you're eligible. So if all of these, all of, uh, all of these must be true, you are not on active duty. Okay. So this is for veterans. You, you got out, you're not on active duty. You, um, you qualify for VA education assistance under the GI Bill. You have a GI Bill, then you qualify for it. Have at least one day of unexpired GI Bill entitlements. You at least have one day of your GI Bill left. I would recommend never exhausting your whole GI Bill. Never exhaust your whole GI Bill. And are you are accepted into a program by a VA-approved training provider. Um that's when you apply for this, you get accepted into a VA approved training provider, which is whoever the trainer is, which is in my case, it's UCF. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they're, a, they're an approved uh, training provider. I've been to other institutions, um, 
for training and they've all been approved but not that all of them are approved but you know and then on the note it says your vet tech training won't count against your gi bill entitlement so they're not taking money from your gi bill you just gotta have the eligibility so basically if you have one day left of your gi bill right you see hey you still got one day of benefits left because there's a certain amount of money they lay on that foundation that okay he's eligible for the GI bill. The, the GI bill is the king daddy of all the other benefits, all the other education benefits. So you have one day of GI bill left. They they go off that. Okay, he's eligible. You know what I mean? I, I don't understand the science that they do, but that's what they do. So what type of training does vet tech cover? You got computer software, you got computer programming, you got data processing, information sciences, media applications, basically all the technical stuff. So what benefits can I get through this program? You get tuition uh for a full-time training program so if you go into program and they say yeah it was full-time it's you know whatever their full-time status is whether it's monday through friday or just three days a week because some are full-time with uh you know like limited amount of days with like three days a deal a week then you get um you you get the full tuition and you get full bah well you get full bah i'm sorry if you're in person training i've always done in person training just because i wanted the full bah but so it says here, oh, you get money for housing during your training, which is BH. So if you attend your training program in person, your household stipend, money for housing, will be equal to the monthly military basic allowance for housing BH for an E5 with dependents. So in my case, an E5 with dependents in my area, because it's all based on your zip code, is about 1600 bucks or something like that. So that's what I would get uh, if you're in... New York, then you get the New York one, which is like 2000 and something like that, something like that. That's allowance for housing. And that's kind of so you can focus on your training and you don't have to worry like, oh, man, I'm going to school. And you know what I mean? Like a regular student would have to worry about where he's getting money from, where they give you that. So you kind of pay attention and you focus, you die hard focused on your training and you finish it. The VA, the military, the government. They're not in the business of losing money. So if they invest money in you, they they want to return on investment. You know what I mean? So um, if you participate in an online program, then obviously you get half because you're not doing the legwork, the traveling and things like that. You know, so you only get half of that, which, I mean, it's still fine. Um, if you don't attend training for a full month, they'll, they'll prorate the housing. So like if your training finishes or for whatever reason, you only did half that month, then you'll get half of the of that housing allowance. So um, let's go. How do I apply? Is there applying? Is very easy. Um, it's very simple. It's just a questionnaire with your name. Have you applied for this before? Are you on? Are you in a technical program now, which you don't have to be? Um, that's one of the questions that might confuse you. It says, "Are you currently in a technical program?" You put no. I put no. I'm, I'm not in a, not right now. I was before, but you don't have to be in a technical program. Uh, and then there's a list of vet tech training providers, the the training provider website. Okay, um, let's look at the list of training providers. So these are all, all the training providers you got. Uh, you know, Galvanize, Galvanize Incorporated. Uh, they're in California, in Phoenix, Colorado. Uh, Skill Distillery. Um, and they all have different programs, you know, uh, data science, uh, Cisco certified network associate, information security analyst, software development boot camp. You got your CompTIA, uh, uh, Network Plus, you got Security Plus, you got A Plus, uh, Cisco certified network associate, just like the other one. Uh, you know, so they all have a different program. So you've got to find which one it is that it can benefit you. Also, you've got to be um, here. It says in person, but remember, this is a new program. They're still working on things. Um, there's a lot of programs are now online, and a lot of these are saying in person. I don't think a lot of them are in person right now. You know, they. I know they're having a difficult time with the in-person stuff. But look, there's a lot of providers here. So it's a real good program, real simple. On the bottom here, it says uh, email us. I suggest, this is, this is my suggestion, the more proactive and the more 
face to, or personal you can be with uh, counselors and things like that, the more you, better your chances are of getting it. Now, I'm not saying to bother the counselors 24-7, but if they see that you're really motivated and the VA and the military is all about that, about the motivation. If they, they, if these counselors see, man, this guy's really motivated. This guy or this girl is really motivated. Then they'll, they have, you have more of a chance of them approving because it's all, it's all on counselors. There's actual people looking at your stuff, going, okay, why, why is this guy? Yeah, he's eligible, but let's see why he really wants to go in. You know, and if you're just like, ah, ah whatever, you know, you don't do anything really proactive. I'm very proactive. For example, I'm emailing this email and asking questions and this so now they're i'm in the back of their head you know i'm in their subconscious now because I'm, I'm constantly emailing not every single day but i'm emailing you know i'm being tactful about it you're not just gonna be like hey man you know you know you gotta be tactful about it but um explain your situation why you want to get in things like that it's for you to get into these programs so it's real easy it's a good program i mean i, I haven't used it but with the VA, like I, I told my cousin who just got out, uh, he just got out of the Marine Corps. He just retired. Um, the VA, you want to use their benefits, especially if it benefits you and it's going to make you, it's going to help your family, make you a better person, whatever the case may be. The VA has a lot of programs and so many programs that we don't know about because you know, for whatever reason, I don't know. They don't. They don't just have commercials playing with every VA program that comes out. You might see it because somebody like me does a video or, or Instagram. Somebody puts a, one of those things. But you've got to. You've got to always get on this VA website and look at the new benefits, the updates when they update it. You got to go on V. Listen, I go on VA.gov once a week, at least once a week, just to look. I just skim through it to see. There's so many variables. It's like a giant spider web of benefits that, oh, you got this benefit because people just think it's the, oh, I got the GI Bill and maybe my VA um, payments, you know, like if, if, you know, if you're a disabled vet or whatever. People think it's just that. It's not. There's more that comes with that. And even when you're when you have a VA rating disability, there are benefits that come with certain ratings. Certain percentages have different benefits. A hundred is a different than eighty, than uh, you know fifty and twenty and ten. You know, it's they have different benefits. So you got to look at that. Um, it's just a bunch of different things that you got to look through, right? But anyway. That's all I got, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to keep making videos like this if you got any questions on VA or military-related. Because I just got out 2014. I still know what's going on. Even though there's a little new things, there's a basis that is, a, is always going to be there. It's been there since World War I. So <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on social media. And I will see you all on the next smoke.